Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big P here, you know don't you, you know. Could you imagine a world without boxing? I couldn't, I'd be in bits, I'd have no to do all day would I? I'd be probably in a, end up in a prison cell, wouldn't I? I mean, I'd be like that all day, wouldn't I? Let me out! But, could you imagine, right, the football industry or tennis industry doing ticket deals? Could you imagine uh, somebody from Lawn Tennis Association saying to Roger Federer, Hey Rog, can we have a word, mate? Uh, you've got to sell tickets so you can't, you're not going to be able to play uh, Agassi or whoever, John McEnroe or something. Could you imagine John McEnroe and Borg being told to sell tickets? You know, can you remember tennis from, from 70s and early 80s, you know, when, when it were great? The golden era, era. You've got to sell tickets. And could you imagine them selling tickets and then Borg saying, Do you know what, I'm not going to play Jimmy Connors this year. I want to play. Uh, Tim Edmund or somebody like that, somebody shit. Do you know what I mean? Could you imagine that? Uh, we're gonna have a tune up. We're gonna have a tune up match this week. We're not. We're not gonna play. We're not gonna play Agassi or or uh, Vetus Garolitis or whoever Anastasi. We're gonna play Tim Edmund or uh, you know somebody somebody who's Baba. We're not gonna do that. Could you imagine Ali being put on a ticket deal back in the day or? I don't know, Ken, Ken Norton, uh, and, oh, what was that great fight that Dennis's dad always used to go on about? Ron Lyle against George Foreman, could you imagine Ron Lyle and George having to run around with ticket, tickets? Right, you're on a ticket deal. Well, could you imagine Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi on ticket deals, running around? And, and if they don't sell enough tickets, they can't, they can't Barcelona can't play uh, Real Madrid or whatever teams they're playing for Juventus. Or could you imagine Messi saying, do you know what, I'm not going to pick my wits this year in Champions League final against Virgil van Dijk. I'm going to give the Champions League final a miss because we fancy a game against Bolton on a wet weekend. Could you imagine that? We'll play Bolton but we're not going to play Liverpool. Or could you imagine Bayern Munich saying we don't want to play Real Madrid this year, we'll play uh, Borussia Dortmund. Well, why have we got that in boxing? Why have we got Fury and Joshua not fighting each other? Why did? Why haven't we had Fury against Joshua by now? Why haven't we had Wilder against Joshua? I mean, to be honest with you, Joshua's career, who has he beat? Who's elite? Who's Joshua's best win? Vladimir? Tyson Fury schooled him and ruined him, didn't he? And, and then Joshua got him when he was 41. So why, 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 who was Joshua's best win? He's not had an elite win. Joshua's not had an elite win. He's not been nowhere near Wilder, has he? And if he does fight Wilder now, Fury got there first, just like he did with Vladimir. So Joshua's belts, he's a paper champion, isn't he? But they want to keep the cash cow earning, don't they? In one breath, they're saying they want to fight Fury. In next breath, they're saying it's got to be right for them. We've got Barry Earn wheeled out with a fishing rod. Hey, he needs put him back in his home. He needs to be sat in a Shackleton's high seat chair. My niece got this from Shackleton's, you know. Shackleton's high seat chairs, they're lovely. Well, that's Barry Earn. So, Susan Earn, your, your wife, your Suey, listen, Suey, put him in a Shackleton's high seat chair, sit him in front of that big old screen he's got in his house, and let him watch sport at home. But stop. Having him wheeled out in front of a fishing pond with his little garden gnomes who are sat next to him, all them little garden gnomes that want to go fishing with him. Stop it. Stop wheeling him out. Because every time he opens his pile, he says something that gives me an ulcer. But I'm just saying, could you imagine big tennis stars and big football stars having to run around on ticket deals? Imagine US Open final. And you've got the two big stars, Agassi and Pete Sampras, saying, "Ah, oh, we're not, we're not going to play today. Oh, we're we're going to give it a miss." So they have to cancel the U.S. Open final. Well, Joshua against Fury is like the U.S. Open final, but we're not getting it, are we? We're, we're getting Dylan White against Povetkin wheeled out. 
eh? Dylan White learning on the job against a guy 41. But it's pay per view. But nobody's saying a word. None of these YouTubers are putting it on them, are they? Why are they not putting it on them? Why, why, why? Eh? Viewer, capital R, at sky.co.uk. That's who you need to complain to. Don't complain to me. I'm sick of getting up in the morning to all these emails. Sick of it. Sick to death. Send me your helmet votes in. That's all I want emails from you now. Helmets, all right? If it's about Sky pay-per-view, tell them, not me. Tell them and let them have some pressure. Or ring your subscription up and cancel it. They will offer you a mega deal. They're offering mega deals now, Sky, to keep you there. They're going from £95 a month to 35 and throwing you in free cartoons and what's that other one? Free, uh, what's it called? Dog the Bounty Hunter. You'll get Dog the Bounty Hunter free. Do you know what I mean? With mullet. You know him with mullet. I'm the dog, the big bad dog, that one. So watch Dog the Bounty Hunter for free and get your Sky subscription get the money chopped down to 35 a month, but don't tell me, tell them. Viewer, capital R, so viewer, lower casing, capital R, at sky.co.uk. Email them and tell them what they're serving up, shite. And they'll, 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 they'll change it, they will change it. If they get 25 complaints, they have to act. All right, then it puts pressure on Bean. All right, instead of me having to bear the brunt, I can't be the voice of hardcore boxing every day. You've got to tell them, don't tell me. All right. But people in the boxing industry, half of the emails are off them because they don't tell them, dare they? Because they want to get to that situation. That's the nature of the beast. Don't have nightmares. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing the video. All right, peace out.